G'day everyone, it's Adam from Oz Commercial Sewing Machines. I thought I'd do a quick video today on an accessory you might find handy. I've had a lot of customers inquire about these and didn't know that these uh, type of feet existed, and that is compensating feet. So essentially, uh, compensating feet have two separate toes. What they're, they're both pivoting, but one is spring-loaded, and you can see it, it sits lower than the other. The benefit of that is to help you run along the edge of uh, seams or hems and each foot has a different measurement where the needle goes from the uh, the lower foot to the needle. Um, we have a few different sizes here. We have a, uh, a 1mm, a 1.5, a 3mm and a 5mm. Or if you're living in 1971, uh, this is a 132, a 16th, an 8th and a 3 16th. So what that does is that regulates how far your stitching is off the edge of the seam, or if you're doing a strap or a, or a hem or something like that. Um, they're not, you can see there, there's a code. Now this particular feet, there's two different types of feet that, which is, relates to your machine. You can see this one has the NF. So it's a CL50, which is a five millimeter, and it has the NF. These actual ones are for a needle feed machine, uh, similar to the Jack A6F. That slot there for your needle needs to go right back to the ankle or to the base of the, um, or the vertical part of the foot. Um, these, of course, will fit on a normal drop feed machine, um, so your standard lock stitch machine. So just be careful. If you do have a needle feed machine, you have to make sure that the, the feet have NF on them for needle feed. Um, uh, otherwise, you, you may get needle breakage. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a few of these feet on. Uh, I'm going to show you how they work and show you the, how, how they, um, the distance they come in off the edge. And uh, these may be beneficial. You can see there's a left and a right. So each one of them has a left. So basically that means that this toe here is on the opposite side. So if you had a large item um, uh, that you couldn't rotate around or you couldn't fit uh, you know, into, the, into the space of your machine in here, um, then you may you may need the left and the right. If you're just doing straps, then you can obviously just use uh, one side because you can rotate the item around and you can sew it from both sides. But they so they do come in a left and a right. Um, they're not expensive. Uh, Australian they're only, these premium type feet are only about twenty five dollars each, so they're not super expensive. But anyway, we'll um, we'll pop a couple of these on and we'll give them a sew and see how they go. Okay, we have our five millimeter or 3 16th compensating foot fitted. Now this one is the left. It will actually say on the side of your foot, it'll have a C for compensating, then an L for left or an R for right. And then of course the, the size of the foot. Um, so what we're actually using, we're using a left because we're going to do a hem. Uh, and then of course that, that's beneficial with the left because your garment can be on the, uh, on the left hand side. Um, so we're gonna pop this through. Now you can see there, the problem you have um, a lot of the time with uh, your plain press of foot is that it obviously wants to sit on there and it's easy for it to track off. Uh, the advantage of this foot is obviously you have this, your um, left hand um, toe running across the edge and also this pushes down onto the fabric so it actually allows the single layer to get a little bit of uh, a bite on the feed dog so it feeds a bit better. So we're going to run this through and we'll show you what it looks like. So you can see here, I can literally do this with one hand. Okay, and you can see how consistent, so if I can get along there, if you can see along there. So you can see how easy it is to do a hem. Now that is um, quite a wide lip on there. Uh, it all depends on what um, item you want to sew. Uh, if you're doing um, uh, a medical gown or something like that, uh, generally we like to sew it really close to the edge so that when they, they get washed they can, uh, they, don't, they can get rid of any contaminants. So you'll use the one millimeter. But that's the, um, that's the five millimeter. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna do a strap. Um, I'll show you the benefits with a strap. Because it's only narrow, we don't have to change from our left to our right foot. We can do both sides with the same foot. Strap and fold it up. Okay. All right, we'll get that folded under. So it's the same situation, we're just gonna run along. Now because it's a strap, we can spin it around 
and we can sew the other side if you had a larger one then you could just change over you could do all your left sides and then all your right sides or whatever the case may be but with the straps this is nice and easy you can see there the consistency um, beautiful very very handy foot what I'll do next um, I'll change every foot and I'll show you the different uh, uh, incrementations between the uh, the one millimeter and the five millimeter so you can see how close they are okay so we've stitched all our different sizes here you can see the uh, five mil on the uh, right hand side and then all the way into the one mil and of course the one and the 1.5 are very close together but you can see there the consistency that would be extremely difficult if not impossible to do uh, by hand or especially at, at any speed by hand and this is the hem so here's the uh, the one millimeter and the five millimeter very straight Really handy foot guys. If you're interested in uh, getting yourself some compensating feet, contact your local uh, sewing machine guy where you got your machine from and uh, they're easily uh, readily available and you, he'll be able to, uh, happy to supply you with some. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Okay, we've stitched out all of our different sizes. See the one millimeter right on the edge, 1.5, three and five millimeters, very straight. Be very difficult to do this with a standard foot. Uh, it would want to roll off the edge. Not difficult at all with a compensating foot. Uh, you can literally do it one-handed. Very consistent. I'll show you the hem on the canvas. So that's the one and the five millimeter. Almost looks like it's been done uh, with a twin needle lock stitch machine. Very handy tool to have, guys. Uh, not expensive, easily available. Uh, so contact your local sewing shop and get them to hook you up with some compensating feet and uh, it'll give you perfect hems and uh, perfect straight stitching on edges. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.